Hey guys, so somebody brought up in the comments of the last video that if you're using the ProSeal stuff and you get, you know, halfway through it and you decide you need to stop and pause and come back to it at a later date, that you can take the little tube of ProSeal and put it in the freezer and that will actually prolong the curing process. That's interesting, I hadn't thought of that. Now, I question how long you can actually put it in the freezer, like how long you can delay that curing process. Um, you could slow it down. I don't think you could stop it entirely. Uh, and then once, you know, if it, if, it, if it freezes to rock hard, then you have an entirely different problem because you have to wait for it to thaw before you can continue using it. And during that thawing process, it's gonna to continue to cure. So I, I don't know. Someone's gonna to have to comment in the, down below and tell me if that's actually effective or like what kind of, what kind of prolonging you can see, you know, uh, if it's a good idea or a bad idea. I kind of tend to think that, you know, at 15 to 20 bucks for one of those little, those little tubes, you're just better off using a tube. I mean, it, I, I, I can't imagine, unless you're really strapped for cash, that that's a good way to save money. So anyways, working on it in the background, I'm gonna get uh, back to it today. These, these videos are gonna be very fast and I'm not gonna have a lot of time to uh, go over what I'm doing and reposition the camera due to the nature of the Pro Seal and the curing. And I talk to that here shortly. I'm sorry I had to stop recording, guys. The simple fact of the matter is I was spending so much time worried about the shot, worried about the camera focus and where the cameras were that I wasn't doing the work. And this is one of the, those areas where you really need to do the work. Now, uh, to that, I would like to say that um, I would like to revise my estimate on how many of these you're gonna use. Uh, this is a six ounce version of this stuff and this is a two and a half ounce version. I got these off Aircraft Spruce. These are about $17 on Vans. These were, Roughly the same price on Aircraft Spruce, I think, and probably Van sells these, I don't know. Um, anyways, the reason I would say get the smaller ones, even though they might be a little more expensive, is because you won't feel rushed. With the six ounce tube of this stuff, you're gonna feel like you're gonna be rushed to hurry up and use it, use it, use it, whereas really you shouldn't. Um, and so this, I mean, get one of these per rib, if nothing else, and you'll be fine. Even though I did two ribs with one of these, uh, I, I, you don't have to stretch it. I mean, at we'll say 20 bucks. They're not, they're like 17, but with shipping and everything, we'll say they're 20 bucks each. Who cares? It's money well spent, right? And at the end of the day, if you, even if you use only a little bit out of one and then chuck it, fine. It's like sandpaper, guys. Use it up like you're supposed to and then throw it away. Don't try to stretch it. And don't get into a rush. That was my big thing with using this because I was really concerned that I was going to get into a rush trying to use all of this uh, and then not do it correctly. And that was the same problem with the cameras. I just, I wanted to make sure I did it correctly. So there's that. Um, so I would say get, you know, get four or five of these for the ribs and then maybe get two of these for the back and for just reasons you'll have an extra one if you need it uh, that way again if you screw something up throw away the one come back at it the next day and then you still have one you don't have to you don't feel like you have to rush through it because you know again uh, once the catalyst hits the the, the primary goop uh, you're on a clock and that clock is pretty short so anyways uh, again sorry I will try to do more video over the course of the next couple of days of exactly what's going on here. But I, I, I fear there's gonna be a lot of green screen overlay here because um, I'm just not gonna have the, the kind of time to really give you what you deserve. Uh, instead, I'm gonna be focusing on actually getting it done and then we'll, we'll have an after action review. So anyways, back to it. All right, I'm back at it. So this is day two. Uh, it's freaking hot out. It's like 90 something out here. I'm, I'm Definitely a little warm. Uh, I've got two tubes of the stuff. I've got a whole bunch of ribs to work on today. So that's what I'm gonna do. My, my goal today is to try to get all of the ribs done. Uh, so I'm gonna be going really fast. I'm going to, uh, of course, unclico, 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 pull out the ribs, smear in the goop, put the rib back in, put clicos back in, and then work the rivets uh, as I can. Uh, real fast. Like I said before, once this stuff starts curing, you don't have a lot of time. So unfortunately that means I don't have a lot of time to finagle the camera. Sorry about that guys. Um, I, I will be better in the next section when I get away from this and I'll try to give you some close-ups and, and some shots so you'll at least see what I'm doing. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I'll answer anything I can, but this stuff is not going to, not going to do itself. So here we go. 
So you can't take me anywhere. Working on this, as you can see in the background, uh, I've ruined yet another shirt and I used gloves for a while there. You saw me put them on and then uh, immediately I start ripping them and cutting them and they get just nasty and I take them off and I swap them out and I put another pair on and a pair on top of that and it's just, good Lord, gloves are a pain in the ass. Ugh. And I have some old crappy shirts that I intended to use for this. Instead, I have my nice uh, new white shirt that I have now ruined. Can't take me anywhere, I swear. Uh, something you're going to see me do while I'm putting all these things together is you're going to see me use the drill. Like after I've put in the smear of Pro Seal on the inside, I put the rib back down in there and I'm clicking it into place. You'll see me go back to and drill some. I'm not drilling out the hole. These holes have already been drilled out. What I'm doing is I'm putting the drill in reverse, putting it in there and I'm drilling and I'm actually pulling some of the pro seal out through the hole. Works really well, actually. It also makes sure things are lined up. There's no cutting going on because one, that drill bit is dull as hell. And two, it's going backwards. So I'm not actually drilling out. It may seem like I am, I'm not. But then uh, put the rivets in, put a piece of tape over and get over it and work it. Now you're gonna see me pull this thing off the table onto the ground and try to get down over it and put it back up. I will say that having a nice high table, I think it's 29 inches or something like that, is really useful, but there are times, especially with tall parts, where you can't you can't quite get your arm over. It's real awkward, so it's easier to put it on the ground. And I still struggle with that and figure out how to how to get down there and, and uh, apply uh, apply pressure on both sides successfully to actually get the work done. Uh, sometimes two people would be handy in a part like this. Not really. I think you would just kind of get into each other's way, but. Two people's probably still handy. Anyways, uh, that's what's going on behind me. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up. Like I said, this is a long bit of video where I had a lot going on in a very short amount of time. Uh, and then I have an intermission where I talk a little bit and then I keep going. Okay, intermission, halftime report. Um, so uh, out of one of these, now this is the small 2.5 uh, ounce uh, Pro Seal caulk gun tube delivery thing. Um, I have done three ribs and by done them, I mean, I have pulled them out, scrubbed the inside, uh, got it, you know, prepped the inside, put a, a, a bead of it on the inside, put them back in there, clicked them all in and then riveted them all in. I had one drill out I had to do on the un underside of this one on the other side around that real sharp curve. That real sharp curve can suck. Uh, with your rivet gun, if, if, if you don't have uh, if you don't have it correctly set, it'll, it'll skip right off it, and that's what happened. It skipped right off it and hammered it in sideways. So I had to go in there and drill that out. Came out fine. It looks like crap right now, and it will until I let it set and dry, and then I'll come back with uh, the the uh, acetone and clean up the outside, and then it'll look fine. So uh, I did start putting layers of this over the rivets on the inside, but the, I was running out. So. Um, I had yet said last time that one of these per rib, um, I'm going to stay to that. One per rib, if you consider putting the layer down on the inside, putting the rib in, working the rib, you know, the rivets in, and then using this to put the layer over the top of it as well. Use all of one of these per rib and you're going to have ample. Uh, you probably could do one of these for two ribs, but I don't want to recommend that and have you not get not have enough. Um, I have the six ounce version of this, which I'm going to use next. I'm going to do two more ribs and then I'm going to start sealing uh, over the top of everything as I have time. Uh, it is uh, 1458. So it's, it's 1500, three o'clock right now. And I cracked this at 130. So uh, went as fast as I could. So that that's right in the window of exactly how much time you have with this. Uh, this is the, the little cock gun that I bought from Vans for $17 a piece of shit. Uh, it has broken uh, down here at the bottom. It this this bar doesn't hold itself in. So I'm gonna have to see if I can't fix that somehow should be fairly simple. And that's my phone ringing. So I'm gonna go get that. But anyways, I'll be back to it. All right, guys. So as you see in the background, I'm uh, after the little pause, I came back at it. I started working. I used the entire six ounce tube to go over all of the rivets of the other uh, ribs that I have done, as well as put the other rivets uh, ribs in rather. Uh, 
I am absolutely covered in ProSeal, so I am terrified to touch my camera. So I'm gonna take some pictures of it tomorrow and I'll have those in uh, and we'll do some before and after comparisons so you can kind of see what it looks like uh, before I clean it up and after I clean it up. Because before you clean it up, it kind of looks like crap. After you clean it up, you're like, oh, okay, it's fine. Um, so I'll get all that for you tomorrow. Uh, some things I would recommend is when you're doing the Pro Seal, uh, people ask me if I should, if I would still recommend getting the quick build tanks. Yes. But if you're going to save the money like I did, I mean, it's like six or seven thousand dollars. So if you're going to save the money and do it yourself, uh, get lots of the blue paper towels uh, from from like uh, your auto parts store. Get a bunch of those because you're just going to go through them like crazy. And get um, lava soap, the liquid dispensing lava soap. Don't get the bar. Uh, and I would say get several cans of acetone because acetone seems to work really well. Um, but other than that, oh, oh, oh uh, um, uh, like wax paper. So if, if you're going to be building this on on a a bench of some kind. Now my bench is wood that I made specifically for this. I think having stains and crap all over it kind of gives it character, so I don't really care. But if you're doing it something someplace like, you know, mom's table or something like that, don't do it on mom's table. But if you're doing it someplace where you want to maybe protect it, um, get some wax paper or some butcher block paper or something to put down. Uh, don't get newspaper because I think you just rip right through newspaper. Remember, this stuff is the consistency of tar, so it, it would rip really quickly whatever you put it on. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I really can't think of anything. Uh, so with that, this is where I'm going to end this one. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. If you do me a favor, click down there on the uh, thumbs up. That really helps my rankings. And if you subscribe and click the bell button, you'll get notifications every time I uh, do one of these. Also, if you really want to help, you can jump over to my Patreon page. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can uh, you can help support this project. Think of it as just buying me a, a cup of coffee over the internet. And if you really think that you can do this, and by the way, you absolutely can, if you use my builder number, which is down in the description below. Vans will send me a hundred bucks when you buy your kit. It's just, it's just a referral is all it is. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much. I hope this is informative. I will have a lot more for you here soon. Like I said, I want to, I want to give you more than just the after action review, but an actual, like, here's the results of the mess I just made. <laughs> That'll be next time. I need a shower. <laughs>